So, Tara, you've made a huge transition from councillor to mayor. I'd like you to comment on that. And if you could also count, comment on the nature of this council, how it's developing. I'd be very interested, very interested in your answers. Okay, great. Uh, I absolutely love being mayor. I love being a councillor and I'm uh, so thankful for the mandate to serve as Red Deer's mayor. Uh, in many respects, I, it feels like a new challenge, but it feels natural. And so I, I certainly, in reflecting back on my past nine years on council, I think it prepared me well uh, for the job that Red Deerians have entrusted me with. So uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I think we've already made uh, this council's uh, really beginning to gel. We've made some substantial headway on some key issues in the community already uh, this far into our term and so we're now undertaking our strategic uh, planning and direction uh, for the coming four years and so look forward to engaging in that work with my council colleagues. Has anything surprised you? Anything you didn't quite anticipate? Uh, well, let's just say the extreme snow event three weeks into this new council being sworn in. Uh, that wasn't something that we anticipated. Uh, but you know what? Uh, we've, I've had the, the occasion to walk through uh, more emergency local situations in the past. Uh, and I felt as though we worked with council. Uh, we, once we identified that there was an issue and that our existing policy wasn't really meeting the needs of Red Deerians on the ground, felt like we were able to uh, act decisively. We waived the policy and, and essentially just gave resources to the department and said, you know what, we need to make Red Deer passable. So dealt with it in the short term. Uh, and by the same token said, you know what, uh, our community's grown and our core services have lagged behind and we need to resolve this uh, so that this and ramp up for the future. Uh, so that it doesn't happen again in an a even in, in an average snow year. So uh, really with quick turnaround, uh, normally these types of reports uh, take, take months and sometimes we go to committee and it takes a while. And you know what, within a six week turnaround we were able to revise our policy uh, for the coming years and, and add resources to that. So quite proud of the efforts of council and our administration in uh, decisively responding to the concerns of Red Deerians. Well, being a new counselor, I think, I think the challenge is to digest and manage all of the information that comes at you first and from all of the different areas that it comes at you, everything from policing to housing to transit uh, to budgets to governance and so on. That's the, that's the biggest challenge when you're new. And then, of course, the, the challenge is practically going in with the operating budget uh, and then the capital budget, of course, and then, of course, Mother Nature setting her own agenda for us uh, this year. So that's been uh, the biggest challenges coming out of the, uh, coming out of the gate. In terms of uh, the culture and adapting to the role and, uh, and so on, fantastically supportive so culture uh, here at City Hall. Fantastic directors and our city manager, just the support has been uh, tremendous. Our council is uh, diverse, it uh, respects each other, we have a lot of different uh, passions and opinions around the table and in the end we, re we continue to remind ourselves who we represent and why we represent those people uh, and it's been just a pleasure actually the last uh, three months. I think the, it's a good question what surprised me about being a counselor now that I'm new on council. And I think one of those things that surprised me was the sheer amount of time that uh, takes to uh, fill all the roles, the committees and the uh, appearances and visiting with citizens. It really is a huge time commitment. So I guess if I was giving advice to anybody in the future running for council uh, to ensure you have that time in your life to do that, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. The orientation process has been excellent. The uh, city staff have been great at uh, teaching us and directing us and helping us to get a grip on the new language essentially that we had to learn to become an effective counselor. I look forward most now to uh, getting my feet wet in developing new strategies going forward. Right now we're kind of just working with what we've inherited from the previous council, uh, their previous council strategic direction and policies and now that we're done budget we're starting to head into our direction and our vision for the city. So I look forward to having some input there and seeing some real progress going forward. What might be your own input? I mean, obviously it's collective, but what would you like to see shaped more in your values and such? Do you want to comment on that? I would like to see us look at our budgeting process and see if we can't find ways to uh, do a better job of finding cost savings in the budget. That was something that I brought forward during the operating budget and the capital budget. And I think that that would be a good focus for us going forward along with all of the other uh, issues in our community. 
Yeah, and so I'm very excited to be here again with uh, Roger Bakes after the election now. It's been a while since I've, I've seen you all, but uh, here just to let you know that City Council's doing well, great, uh, very energized, very excited about the whole process, lots to learn and uh, lots of good work ahead of us uh, uh, in the next uh, couple years, well, four years, I guess, uh, being, being into the, the election term. Um, challenges with Council, um, basically just logistics just getting to know the the way that the council works and how you you get around the organization but overall uh, people have been helpful and uh, uh, the process has been a great learning experience for me I'm, I'm certainly uh, um, enjoying it and and I thought it's it, it would be like this uh, maybe a little bit more work than I thought it would be to this point but uh, uh, that's good that's a really good thing to do and it's uh, uh, my pleasure and honor to be serving the community of Red Deer yeah, and certainly um, being a, a new member of the, this council, I really see my role as, as being the voice of the communities. And uh, sometimes that means making tough decisions and standing and abiding by those decisions. But I'm always conscious and, and respectful of the conversations around the table. Um, but really, I, I know that I've been elected to serve the communities at large. And I work very hard and, and diligently and uh, deliberately to do that. So we're now into our fourth month since the October 2013 election and I have to say I'm enjoying um, my time with council, the new council. Each one of us brings a perspective and there's always that period of gelling. You run individually as a councillor and then when you get elected you have to work together. So we've had some really good orientation in the beginning. We're now working on our, our strategic plan for the next four years and I think that overall we've got some really committed um, councillors who are passionate about our city and it's always interesting that councils bring, um, uh, they're almost a microcosm of our community from the background they come from but as well as the, the community they talk with and, and the input that they bring forward. So I always like the position that all of us is smarter than one of us and I'm enjoying the, the time ahead working with the 2013 to 20 next four years of council. And um, so uh, um, today's council meeting for me was, uh, was a very good one. Uh, we dealt with what I consider an important period of time for council to focus on crime prevention. And we've talked about it a number of years in this city. Uh, um, in the last council, we talked about the policing, um, which model of police, which we ended up going with the RCMP where versus the municipal police or a hybrid or model. And I think now the time has come for us to engage with our community about how we can all uh, play our part in crime prevention and a safer community. We often want to call the police when there's a problem, but it's much bigger than that. It's our eyes and ears on the street. It's our business and it's our support as citizens in uh, and what we can do to make our community safer. So I I look forward on that. And then the other piece today at our council meeting was Councillor Harris and I brought forward a motion on housing. Um, everybody knows that housing is a challenge. Uh, first of all, um, this last week um, a few of us as council attended a youth homelessness um, a symposium. So it's whether you're young and looking for a home, whether you're a family that's looking for a home, uh, those are important issues that we can look. And it's a federal issue, a provincial issue, and a municipal issue. So I look forward to that conversation as well. Well, we're in our, we're, we are in the early stages of council and council formation. It's been a very interesting process. We had a great orientation process, perhaps a bit long, uh, but the um, new councillors liked it a lot and I liked it, it's just that it was long. And then we got straight into budget. We've been in operating budget, capital budget, and so I am really looking forward to us getting together as a council, building as a team to discuss the critical issues. And I think we started that today with crime prevention. Um, but we spent a lot of time uh, on budget and we haven't had a lot of time as a council kind of to team build and whatnot, but we'll get there. And from my perspective, I think um, Mayor Veer is doing a great job. And I think that uh, as a council, I think we're uh, learning about each other, but I think we're making good progress and I think there's great respect for people. I love the diversity that we have. I think we've got, you know, every, every new council, and I've been on many, <laughs> Uh, but every new council has its flavor and has its um, characteristics and so does this one. Uh, but I think we're doing well in, in the time that we're here. And I think um, we, we went through snow removal which was a real baptism by fire for our new councillors and certainly even for the former councillors it was a real uh, challenge 
for us to deal with that. I mean, unprecedented snow, a lot of uh, response from the from the public, and not a lot that we could do about it in the in the moment. We were using every contractor, <laughs> every uh, uh, snow blower, every snow machine that was out there, and uh, we were working just as fast as we could. But it wasn't enough, and uh, and people were certainly upset by that. I feel really good about the operating budget and that we hit the high points. I think um, we're a 3.93 percent increase, and I think um, about two percent of that is police. 2.5 percent, I think, actually, is, is police, and another one percent for snow removal, and then you put the rest on, it, it's not a whole lot. So I think we identified some priorities, we hit them head on, and I think the public will notice a real change uh, next year.